What's up guys, good morning, this is Tyler. Um, hope y'all are doing good. Just had a bunch of stuff on my heart that I like to get out that God's pretty much just told me to speak about. In life we all go through a bunch of situations, a bunch of trials, tribulations, and it kind of shakes us a lot. And then we get we get in this state of mind where we're like, oh, I can't do this, or I can't get out of this. And then we just think, man, is God really there? Is he, is he helping us, or what's going on? But to be honest, he's always there. He's he's always there trying to help you, trying to help you move on. But it's those times where where your faith gets shaken and you don't really realize what's going on. So you need to just look up or either pray or just know that God's still there regardless. An example of like our faith would be like sports. If any of y'all play sports, you you know your coaches push you regardless of how your day is going or what's going on. They're always like, Give me two more. Or I don't care if you're tired. You can get water later. Um, but they're preparing you. They they have faith in you to do so, to get to that game day and perform on a high level. That's why they're doing it. They don't do it because they don't like you, or because they're like, oh, I I like to see them down. They do it because they have a lot of faith in you, and they're trying to get you better for the next obstacle, which would be a football game or a basketball game or a track meet, cross country, anything. But when you put all your faith in the Jesus, your father, he's your father for a reason. We call him father for a reason because he's like a father figure. And and parental, in the parental world of earth, it's called tough love. He loves you, but he's going to put you through tough situations because he knows you can handle it. And that's tough love. Um, but God will, he's at the end of the day, he's going to present you something on the other side that's good that will benefit you if you if you respond to what he's putting you through in a positive way if you respond negatively he might put you through more stuff but if you say hey god i trust you i have faith in you and i know you love me and you're doing this for my best interest then once you get through the obstacle in life you're gonna find that god's gonna bless you and you're gonna prosper in his name going off of that is if you see any person down or upset or in pain I call that opportunity, because that's opportunity for you to present yourself as a Christian and say, hey, God loves you. I mean, you can't look at any negative situation and just be down about it. Like if you have friends who are down, that's the opportunity to say, hey, you need to lift your head up because God loves you. It's Hebrews chapter 10, verses 35 through 36, and it says, so, so don't throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. For you need endurance so that after you have done God's will, you may receive what was promised. To me, that that's, that's big, bold words. That's very bold. And you kind of have to think about it where, when he says, for you need endurance. Which means, to me, that's like you need to, have, you need to keep your head held high and keep pushing. And if you do, if you do such that, then you're going to get what you're promised, which is just... Um, love, forgiveness, grace, and you're going to be able to give that to other people, which is the more important part about your daily life and your faith testers is to share that with other people. So thanks for listening. That's what was on my heart. And bye-bye.